Ilsco's offering of power distribution blocks has been expanded to include blocks that feature a maximum high short circuit current rating with proper fuse protection of up to 100,000 symmetrical amps and are suitable for use with flexible conductor. They were designed in response to recent code changes by the NEC, UL508A, UL1953, and UL1059, which specifically requires overall short circuit current rating data of industrial control panels to be indicated on their nameplates. As of July 2012, UL1995, the industry standard for HVACR equipment, mandates that HVACR equipment have a marked short circuit current rating. In this training module, we'll review the recent NEC and UL regulations that apply to power distribution blocks and terminal blocks, and how ILSCO's line of high short circuit current rated blocks meet those regulations. We'll describe the features, functions, and benefits of each product in ILSCO's high SCCR product line. We'll explain how to read the product data sheets, and discuss the requirements for achieving maximum short circuit current rating. Finally, we'll review some of the applications where high SCCR power distribution blocks are used. Recent changes to the NEC require nameplates on industrial control panels and industrial machinery electrical panels to now include its short circuit current rating. In response, Underwriters Laboratories modified UL508A its standard for the construction of industrial control panels to require marking of the overall short circuit current rating or SCCR of an industrial control panel based upon the lowest rated SCCR component within the control panel assembly. UL1953 and UL1059 now give specific requirements for power distribution blocks and terminal blocks in order for them to be either UL listed or UL recognized. Additionally, with the modification to UL1995, HVACR equipment, including motor controllers and control panels, is required to have a marked short circuit current rating. With these regulatory requirements, ILSCO's legacy line of power distribution blocks have been grandfathered in at 10,000 amps. However, if a panel requires a higher short circuit rating than 10,000 amps, Power distribution blocks or terminal blocks that are rated higher will also be needed. ILSCO has responded to the recent rating requirement changes with blocks that can be rated at 100,000 amps or higher. ILSCO's expanded offering of high SCCR blocks includes PDE, PDH, and PDL. They're manufactured from high-strength aluminum alloy that's suitable for use with solid or stranded conductors. The electro-tin plating on these blocks provides low contact resistance. They're ROHAS compliant and CSA approved to 600 volts AC-DC. PDL power distribution blocks are listed under UL1953, CSA certified to standard C22.2, and approved up to 335 amps. These panel mounted blocks have a high short circuit current rating with fuse protection of up to 100,000 SIM amps with building code conductor. Additional high SCCRs are available with specific circuit breakers. For additional information, refer to the product data sheets. PDH power distribution blocks are recognized under UL standard 1059, CSA certified to standard C22.2, and approved to 760 amps. These panel mounted blocks have a high short circuit current rating with fuse protection of up to 100,000 SIM amps with either building code conductor or flexible conductor. Most sizes are furnished with a hinged cover to prevent accidental contact and an optional cover is available on the remaining sizes. PDE blocks are finger safe and have an IP20 touch protection rating within a restricted wire range. They are listed under UL1953 and recognized under UL Standard 1059. They're CSA certified to standard C22.2 and approved up to 520 amps. These blocks can be either DIN rail or panel mounted and have a high SCCR with fuse protection up to 100,000 SIM amps with either building code conductor or flexible conductor. 
PDE blocks are suitable for use with flexible conductor and are also available as a copper block for copper conductor only. PDS power stud blocks are recognized under UL standard 1059, CSA certified to standard C22.2, approved up to 840 amps and up to 10,000 sim amps. They're intended for use with listed crimp type lugs such as Ilsco's Sure Crimp copper compression line. Some sizes are furnished with a hinged cover to prevent accidental contact and an optional cover is available on the remaining sizes. PDM power stud blocks are recognized under UL standard 1059, CSA certified to standard C22.2, approved up to 760 amps and up to 10,000 sim amps. They're suitable for use with flexible conductor and most sizes are furnished with a hinged cover to prevent accidental contact. Product data sheets include a general description of the block, including amperage and voltage ratings, as well as the wire ranges for high short circuit current rating. The short circuit current ratings chart identifies the fusing requirements for higher short circuit ratings. Mechanical ratings, material descriptions, and agency approvals are also included. Next, there are wire approval charts, which indicate approved wire and torque requirements for both line and load side. Optional accessories that are available are indicated, as well as the block dimensions. The product data sheets for ILSCO's high SCCR blocks provide charts for determining the correct fusing, wire and torque requirements for higher short circuit current rating and minimum enclosure size. The short circuit current ratings chart allows you to determine the line and load conductors along with overcurrent protection fuse combinations needed in conjunction with the new power distribution blocks to achieve a high SCCR. Each line in this chart must be read independently to determine a working combination of components. Let's walk through an example using the product data sheet for the PDE 18400 power distribution block. On line 1 of the short circuit current ratings chart, the wire conductor classes in the left-hand column are B or C. The suitable conductors for line are 400 to 3 aught. Load is 2 to 8. Next are the maximum fuse class ratings. For class J, it's 400 amps. So if you have a line that's between 3 aught and 400, and a load that's between 2 and 8, and if you're using a class J fuse that is 400 amps or lower, then you have the necessary components for a rating of 100,000 sim amps at 600 volts when using a PDE 18400 power distribution block. The connector is only rated at 10,000 sim amps if there's no overcurrent device. The product data sheet also contains a line side wire approval chart, which provides additional criteria necessary for a 100,000 amp short circuit current rating. Under each class of copper wire stranding, the number of strands that would be approved for those wires is indicated based on the wire size used. In this example, the line side conductor range was 400 to 3 aught. Therefore, the approved wire stranding is indicated by the highlighted boxes in the chart. The line side approval chart also indicates the necessary torque to apply in inch pounds for each wire stranding class. If the specified fusing wire selection and torque requirements from the product data sheets are not followed, the block is not rated at 100,000 sim amps. It is rated at 10,000 sim amps. Let's look at another example. On line 2 of the same chart, the wire conductor classes are B or C. The suitable conductors for line are 2 aught to 6. Load is 2 to 14. For class J fuse ratings, it's 200 amps. This combination of components can be rated at 100,000 sim amps. Conversely, you cannot use a 400 line wire and a number 10 load wire. You also cannot use a line conductor of 2 watt to 6 and a load conductor of 10 with a 300 amp class J fuse and still achieve a 100,000 sim amp rating. As a side note, if circuit breakers are shown in the short circuit rating chart, note that they are manufacturer specific. Looking again at the line side approval chart, 
since the line side conductor range in this example is 2 watt to 6. The approved number of strands for each wire class is indicated in the highlighted cells. The necessary torque for this range of wire sizes is indicated here. Again, if the specified fusing wire selection and torque requirements from the product data sheets are not followed, the block is not rated at 100,000 simamps. It is rated at 10,000 simamps. One last example is from the high flex wire indicated at the bottom of the chart. The wire conductor class is G, H, I, or K. Suitable conductors for line are 2 watt to 6. Load is 2 to 10. For Class J fuse ratings, it's 300 amps. This combination is also rated at 100,000 sim amps. On the line side approval chart, since the conductor range in this example is 2 watt to 6, the approved number of strands for each wire class is indicated in the highlighted cells. The necessary torque for this range of wire sizes is indicated here. Remember, the specified fusing, wire selection, and torque requirements must be followed in conjunction with the proper combination of line and load conductors in order for the block to be rated at 100,000 simamps. If the specified fusing, wire selection, and torque requirements in the SCCR table are not used, all power distribution blocks have a default rating of 10,000 simamps with the standard wire range. Some of the smaller sizes not covered in the SCCR table do have the 10,000 amp rating. This requires no overcurrent protection device. If you have additional questions, consult your local representative or ILSCO's technical support line. ILSCO's high SCCR power distribution blocks are designed for use in UL508A rated industrial control panels in a variety of applications, including factory robotics and automation equipment, food products machinery, pumps and compressors, switchgear and switchboard equipment, motor and generator controls, and material handling equipment. For control panels with a required interrupting range of 10,000 symmetrical amps, ILSCO offers a full range of open and enclosed power distribution blocks. And now that offering includes its high SCCR series of blocks, for panels with a more demanding requirement of a 100,000 symmetrical amp rating.